What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the build that I decided to make for NBA 2K20. So I did decide to make a power forward, obviously left handed because I am a lefty. Number 7, that's my favorite number. And I decided to go with the pure sharpshooter build. I did choose the top pie chart because speed is very important for this build since I will be running the 2 when I do play 3s a lot. And I decided to max out my driving layup, my driving dunk, all my shooting. But I did lower the free throw a little bit, and then I put it back up just so I had 30 badges. Pass accuracy, I maxed out. Ball handling, I maxed out. And I did want to have 9 playmaking badges, so I'm going to max out my post moves until I hit 9 playmaking badges. Because I want quick first step gold, unpluckable gold, and post spin technician gold. Those are the 3 playmaking badges I'm going to go with. I maxed out interior defense, I maxed out perimeter defense lateral quickness as well and i maxed out my defensive rebound i didn't touch my offensive rebound at all because since i am going to be running the two i'm going to be running with a seven foot three inside big man who will be fine with all the rebounds i just put defensive up just in case of anything and also i will be on the three point line a lot so it's not like i'm going to be crashing for offensive rebounds and then lastly i did upgrade my block all the way and i spent the last points on my steals so i get one finishing badge 30 shooting nine playmaking and five defense and rebounding the body shape doesn't matter, but I personally think defined looks the best. I decided to go with 6 foot 11 because if I do go to 7 foot, I do lose a ton of speed. And I think 6'10 is kind of short for a big man, so 6'11 is the perfect height. For the weight, I tried to put it all the way down, and I realized if I do put it up to 207 instead of 205, the interior defense goes up by 1 and nothing else drops. So 207 is the perfect weight if you are going to make your build 6 foot 11. For the wingspan, the best thing to do is to put it all the way down because you're not going to be going for many rebounds. And I do have pretty high rebound IQ, so I am fine with the minimum wingspan. However, I decided to put it up by one. I see the takeovers are the same, but if I put it right here, two up from the minimum, I actually do get playmaker takeover. And actually, spot up shooter is obviously the best takeover for this build, it's the most effective. But I decided to go with playmaker takeover just for the fun of it. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this build. The three does drop by two, but I think it's nice just to have playmaker takeover. And I actually did break ankles in a career game yesterday, that was the first time I broke it which isn't really that good but every time i got it in park i don't really know my dribble move so it was kind of hard to break ankles but now i do know that this build can break ankles in takeover so i'm excited for that i'm excited to bring you guys gameplay with this build right now gameplay is going to be a little bit slow i'm not going to be posting too many gameplay videos to start the year out because i'm still grinding my badges right now i think i have one finishing badge i have three or two defensive badges yeah i have two defensive badges I have two playmaking badges and I only have I think six or seven shooting badges so I am working on the badges getting a little bit of progress but don't worry gameplay with this build will be out soon but yeah I did choose playmaker takeover obviously if you are making this build spot up shooter is probably a better takeover for you but I just chose playmaker for the fun of it as you can see I am a stretch four I'm compared to Danilo Gallinari, Rudy Gay and Laurie Markkinen so that's going to be it for my build like I said before I also plan later in the year to make a Shaq build I plan to make that guard build that I uploaded, mainly for Pro-Am. And I do want to make a 6'11 pure athletic finisher. I had that build in NBA 2K17, and it's amazing. So I want to make those four builds. I might even make a play sharp as a fifth build. But as of now, I'm going to stick with one build because badges are pretty hard to get. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.